Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm doing another video. Now as always I am reacting to another episode of The Next Step um, and I'm trying to get through them like I said in my last video as quickly as I can. I know that sometimes there's like a week gap, two weeks gap, sometimes there's a couple day gaps so it's literally just when I get it out. So as always you're being great at being patient and I will try and get to the end of the season as quick as possible. So anyway today's episode is season 8 episode 17. I expect there'll be a lot of drama a lot of things to talk about um but before i get into it as always don't comment spoilers past this episode and is there anything else oh yeah i don't know any of the next step content and i'm just gonna get straight into the video this year nationals added a pro division where professional dancers who attended a qualifying studio can compete so it's good to see a new location so i think this is the pro division auditions or is it like a qualifier i don't know what you call it um but it's weird because it looks like Studio A, but it's got like curtains up. So I think it's like the Dance Mania one where they had it kind of in Studio A. It wasn't meant to be, but it looked like it. And my selfie game could use a boost. What do you mean I'm not on the list? How did Rochelle forget to sign up? That isn't really something she'd do. So I have a feeling someone's behind this. It's probably for the best though. Save yourself the embarrassment when you don't qualify. <laughs> Well, I definitely registered. But is definitely behind it. You can tell by the way she's talking and looking and just kind of being quite snaky around Rochelle. So you can tell she's behind this. We come around up, down. So far, I haven't been featured in any Nationals routine. So I decided to choreograph a small group dance to show Kenzie. So it's good to see that Jude is taking initiative and she's making a dance because it's important sometimes in this situation to try and make yourself seen and heard. So the fact she's doing this is great. So good luck, Jude. She's literally won every single dance award there is. How have you not seen Margot? Sounds like Margot has enough fans. I don't know why Dylan is being funny about Margot. I'm guessing we're going to get some sort of explanation there because it's a bit weird. I hope everyone likes it. Bye. This routine is so good so far. Like, I'm really proud of Jude for doing this, and I'm. It, it's just really good. So well done, Jude. Hey, Rochelle. Oh, uh, hey. You don't remember me, Nick? Nick from Elite or Ultra Elite now? It's nice to see Nick back at the next step. So Nick the first. Obviously, we have two Nicks now. Um, so it's nice to see a old character returning to the next step. So I'm really pleased about that. Video. What are they talking about? Excuse me, the Pro Division invitation said nothing about learning choreo through a video. Just do your best. Maria is being so unfair to Rochelle. First, she forgets to sign up, or well, she didn't. Maria took her off the roster, and then now Maria has taken her off like the emailing thing so she didn't get the video, so Maria just needs to let her win fairly. I started the day unsure about this routine, but with Cleo's help, it might be good enough to go to nationals. This is such a fantastic routine. Well done, Cleo and Jude. Proud of you two as always. Well, not really. I mean, if you get a nine, do you automatically get a spot? Plus, she's already qualified. And she did say, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. It's so nice of Ozzy to help Rochelle like this. I'm really proud of his development. It's fantastic. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen next. It's going to be so cool seeing your name side by side in the program. A dance choreographed by Cleo and Jude. I think Jude needs to tell Kenzie that Cleo helped because she f it kind of looks like she's hiding something in a way by the way she's looking and smiling. So I think it's better to just be open and honest about this. Um, but I don't know what she's going to do. Sometimes you help someone just to be helpful or because you love them. Cleo is being so kind and understanding. Her development has been amazing this season. So I'm just overall really pleased about that. Michelle, you realize if you don't have this by now, you should probably just go home. No offense. I do see where Nick is coming from in a way, but Rochelle needs to ignore him because he's clearly trying to psych her out and we don't want that. So Rochelle just needs to get out on the dance floor, do what she always does and knock everybody out. Is that is that what you're meant to say? Knock every... Yeah, I think that sounds right. Let me know if it doesn't. I'm going to show Maria and everyone here that I've still got what it takes. No matter how much they try to sabotage me, this is what I was born to do. Rochelle is killing it. I'm so proud of her. She's learned the routine. She's got it. She's proving to Maria and everybody that you can't mess with her all the next step. So very good. Again, thank you so much. Great job. But unfortunately, today it's a no. Thank you. Well done on qualifying, Rochelle. Amazing. However, Nick's qualified. So, oh dear. I need someone to take the lead on choreographing the final 10 person dance for nationals. And after seeing all the hard work you did with the routine today and how amazing it looked, I think you'll be perfect for the job. 
What do you think? This is a huge opportunity for Jude, so I really hope she takes it because choreographing a routine for a Nationals final is not an opportunity that comes around very often. So I think she should just go for it. However, she might need to be honest in order to kind of keep Kenzie's trust because it's the next step. It's going to come out at some point that Cleo helped her with it, probably. So I don't know. I no, didn't dream it. I think I need to explain the whole Marco situation. Marco's my sister. I'm glad Dylan is opening up to Anthony about this. That's great. I'm really proud of them. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy everybody's opening up. It's always the way to be. And I would not be here without you. Not a problem, but really it was all you. Ozzy really came through for me today. In fact, if I think about it, Ozzy's been there for me so many times. It's nice to see some cute Rochelle and Ozzy moments. I mean, they're meeting pizzas very nice. A little date, maybe? I don't know. It feels good to know that Ozzy's always there when I need him. No matter what. This dance is so cute. It's so powerful. You can tell the chemistry they have. So I'm overall really happy that we're seeing this. Yes. Wait. Do I like Ozzy? Okay, so we knew from the trailer that Rochelle admitted she had feelings for Ozzy, but seeing how it kind of led up to it is making me really happy. I'm really pleased that Rochelle and Ozzy are kind of, well, they're not really official yet, but there are feelings there, and Rochelle's finally realised her feelings towards Ozzy, so I'm I'm just chuffed, honestly. So overall, I'm going to give the episode an 8 out of 10. We've got Rochelle moments, we have amazing dancing, we've got good storylines that are continuing on, so overall, I'm really pleased. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I would love to know your thoughts on this episode in the comments, and I will see you very soon for my reaction to season 8 episode 18 now there's 27 episodes so we still got a lot uh, uh, we still got a lot to go yet but i'm very excited to watch the rest of the season with you guys and i will see you very soon bye guys we